Hi everyone, this is Yaya for the The Blood channel. I know it's been a long time. I took some vacations traveling around. This didn't prevent me to play some music though. Anyway, in this video I'm gonna give you some tips if you want to start busking. So let's get on with it. First, if you want to start busking, learn the rules. This may seem like an obvious advice, but you got to make sure you're not breaking any rules when you go out busking. And in the end, it's a policeman that uh, told me to get out. So I suggest you to do your own research, like on the website Busk in London. I will put you the link in the description of this video. But concerning my experience in busking in London, here is what I learned. It is completely legal to busk in London on public land. And if you want to busk on private land, you need a license for that. Do your own research because sometimes some land can appear public but are actually private. To take the example of London again, Camden or Southwark are two boroughs that require you to have a license to busk. So if you want to busk in the UK, you're pretty much set to go. As long as you pay attention not to put your volume too loud, not to obstruct the way of circulation, and of course don't show any violent behavior. In Westminster, you can busk between 10 a.m. and 9 p.m. This leads me to my second point of this video. What is the best time to busk? Of course, the answer of this question is, it depends. But the lesson I got from my 30 days challenge is that the best time to busk is the time when people are relaxed. So the rush hours that bring small people aren't necessarily the best times to busk. People are in a rush, they want either to get to work or come back home. Whether if you go out a little bit later, people might be more relaxed and have more time to stop and listen to your music and eventually give you some change. I haven't tried to busk at lunchtime, but I think it would work the test. From my experience, I would say, after 7 p.m. it's quite a good time, especially in a big busy street with a lot of shops that closes late. Perfect transition to bring you to the third point, probably the most important point of this video, where to busk. So once again, once you figured out which land are public or private, it's better to find a place where you have space, where you won't create obstruction with the circulation of the people. Probably some place where people would be able to sit and actually stop and listen to you without being interrupted. Places that draw families and children, because they tend to be the population that gives more. Touristic places are really good for that. In my case, during my busking challenge, I took advantage of being nearby an amusement park and that was pretty profitable. If you're busking late and at night, you need some place with lights around, so people can easily spot you. And of course, Cherry on Top would be a place that brings you forward with a nice, good-looking setting. Fourth point of this video is about logistics. It concerns everything you can anticipate before you go busking. Know the rules is a part of it, but also know the place and time where you want to busk. Check the weather forecast, this is very important, especially if you don't want to end up playing under the rain. Hey guys, just came back from busking and I got caught in the rain. I look at this. Anticipate all the problems that you might have with your gear. Make sure you have enough battery in your hand. Which transport are you going to take? And is it practical to carry your gears? And of course, prepare your set, prepare what you're going to play. What you want to play is something you're comfortable with, whatever the instrument, something you're good at. And I would be tempted to tell you that people tend to like more what they already know. So maybe play something that people can recognize like covers, but it's probably not necessary if you play well enough and trigger some emotion in your audience. Because whatever you're gonna play, the only way you can transpose your emotions to your audience is through your attitude. Smiling, being welcoming when people come and talk to you, or are recording videos of you, maybe dance a little bit around, give people a little show. And it is through such a positive attitude that you can overcome all the difficulties like rejection or ghosting that you may experience during your busking session and just have fun. Because in the end, isn't it the point of all of this? my advice to you if you want to start busking. I will also upload soon a summary video of my 30 days challenge in which I will reveal you all the statistics that led me to all the points I explained previously in this video. So stay tuned, activate the bell. If you like this video, put a thumb up, share this video and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to help me, you can support my work on Patreon. You will be able to access some exclusive content, participate to polls to choose what I'm going to create next. 
If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to write them down in the comments and I will answer you.